If you wish good memories to come in a convenient package, then nothing is easier than DVD burning. Most videos are now available in the MP4 format. And to conserve these mementos, we give you some tips to burn MP4 files to a DVD. Did you know? A DVD 5 disc can store a 120 minutes movie, while a DVD 9 disc can store a 240 minutes movie. The camera was more than an instrument for capturing photos and videos. It was a time machine that captured memories in a perfect moment. It lets us recollect the past as well as hope for the future with each photograph engraved in our memory. Since we wish our photographs and videos never fade as our memories do, let us adapt to the new format of keeping them intact. MP4 files have the MP4 extension, and are the most commonly used file format for storing audio and video. They compress data as well as retain the quality of the original video, unlike AVA or WMV files. Moreover, MP4 files are playable on almost any DVD player, and can be played directly from the flash drive. DVDs are a popular medium of storage of all file formats, and all sorts of data can be written and saved just with a few clicks. DVDs come in DVD plus R and DVD plus RW formats. The difference is that, the DVD plus R format lets you write once and read it many times while the DVD plus RW format lets you write different content as many times as you want. They are available in 4.7 and 8.9 gigabytes, which the marketers dress up. In reality, the storage space is 4.3 and 8.6 gigabytes respectively. Enough with the technical details, here's a step-by-step -step guide to burning an MP4 file to a DVD. With Windows DVD Maker Windows 7 and Windows Vista have a DVD authoring tool named Windows DVD Maker to burn DVDs. It shares similar features to Windows Movie Maker for transitions and special effects. 1. Launch Windows DVD Maker. 2. Select the MP4 files that you wish to transfer to the DVD, and click the Add button. 3. After you arrange the videos in a chronological order, enter a name for the disc in the DVD title field, and click Next. 4. Click the Menu Styles menu and preview the different designs for the main menu. You can click the Menu Text button to alter the display text. 5. Now, insert a blank DVD in the drive and click the Burn button. Depending on the number of videos, the burning process can take more than an hour to complete. With Imburn Imburn is a freeware that can burn DVDs only on Windows. 1. Launch Imburn and click the right files slash folders to disk. 2. Click on the open folder icon to select the files to add to the DVD. 3. After you add the files, click the calculator icon to see the file size. 4. Now. Click the Device tab and select the writing speed of the DVD. You should keep the speed low if you want to play the DVD on older players. 5. Select the Options tab, and choose the file system as ISO 9660 plus UDF. Now, select the Labels section to name the DVD. 6. Inburn will confirm that you are burning a DVD. Click OK if you wish to continue. 7. The DVD will eject from the optical disk drive once the software is done burning it. Using NeroVision NeroVision is a DVD burning software published by Nero AG, that also functions as a video editing software. 1. After inserting an empty DVD in the optical disk drive, launch NeroVision. 2. When the start screen starts up. Select the Make DVD Single Quote option and click on the Single Quote DVD Video Disc Type. 3. Click the Import menu and select the Import Files button. 4. After a new window has opened, click on the MP4S that you wish to add to the DVD. There's a gradient displayed at the bottom that tells you how much space is left on the DVD. If the bar is green, there's enough space left. And if it's red, stop adding more files.
5. Click the Next button to view the Burn Options screen. Click on Burn to continue. 6. The burning process is displayed. The disk gets ejected when the burning process is done. On Windows 8 since Windows DVD Maker is not available on Windows 8, DVD SDYLER is a good option. 1. First download the program and install it. 2. Launch DVD SDYLER and select your settings. Choose the aspect ratio and the NTSC format or the PAL format if you are from Europe. 3. Browse your files in the tree browser sidebar and drag the files that you deem necessary to the title set manager. The status bar shows how much space is left. 4. Select a menu background and then select the appropriate buttons from the menu editor. 5. You can split the movie to DVD chapters and click OK to proceed. 6. Now, click Burn to start the burning process and wait till the disk ejects from the drive. On Linux 1. Before we begin, it's better to download and install DVD, an open source DVD authoring tool. 2. First, create a folder and add the files you wish to burn. 3. Launch DVD and select Video DVD Single Quote Type. A new window will open. 4. In this window, the title field represents the folder and the files represent individual files. Choose the NTSC format or PAL format if you live in Europe, and click Forward. To create a new folder, right-click on the title field and create a new folder. 5. Click the Preview button to check if your files work. There's a bar at the bottom that lets you know the amount of disk space available. Six. Next, you get to create the DVD menu. Choose the appropriate fonts for the menu and the respective chapters. Click Forward and then OK. Now it creates an ISO file, which is a virtual file that you get to burn in the next step. 7. When you put a blank disk into the optical disk drive, Ubuntu will sense it and give you a list of options. Click on Bracero to launch it. 8. It will ask you the destination folder in which the file is stored, and the DVD drive to burn. After selecting the right options, click Burn and let the process complete itself. These are some of the ways to burn MP4S to a DVD so that you can play them on a DVD player. All the DVD files are stored in VOB that contains a folder structure of the files by default. The burning process is also called optical disk authoring. Remember though, using DVD authoring software to burn copyrighted movies is illegal.